You lost sleep, all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher-ups. My iris is clock. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside, hunted down a hox as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, Mom. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. Uh. But look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about, then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put into words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well... All of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. <sighs> all right now, let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along.
This right here is Sword March. Well, that part is common knowledge, I suppose. To get there, you have a few possible routes. Mainly the northern and the southern. And then, the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Such at ease. You can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Trust me, it's not just the waves and the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, I wouldn't advise going north. Why is that? The road's dangerous, and it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. You'd have a hard time getting through. Tyan, turns out you were right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. Two months? <sighs> but... But? There's more? Even if you reach the sword, this city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony? Uh, I was pretty sure it was an object. Will you still go there, regardless? Yeah. That was the idea. For a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom? Our guests will be leaving soon. Let's give them any assistance we can. No worries! Feel free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Get ready for what's ahead. Mimi, relax. We're just doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. It's just... Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Mm. Hey. What is this? It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it till last year. <gasps> yes, he died, fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him. Shot him right here. Clean through. You're wrong! We're actually from Colony Gam- Mimi, what? If that's what you want. Go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. A what? You're nearly done anyway. Well then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months' time. Not much difference. <sighs> ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. What a jerk. So uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have... We'd be goners. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. 
But not anymore. Right? Uh-huh. There's a chance we can make amends. Even if we're misunderstood. Huh? On the house. Eat your fill, friend. Huh? We're dirt rank, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. The choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. Thanks for that. A second. What's up, Oliaris? It's the commander. What's the commander? Well, I haven't seen her for ages. Do you know where she is? Um, I don't think we've seen her. Are you sure? You haven't seen her at all. Think very carefully. She wouldn't hesitate to die for the colony that came down to it. She's so strong that she'll bear any burden alone, however heavy. Look, if anything would have happened to her, then... Colony 4, then... We'd be... Okay, okay. Calm down. Ugh. Sorry. Got carried away. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Look, if you see her, just tell me, okay? Sorry to have kept you. Yeah. Ethel? Oh, 
It's you. What are you doing here? That's what I was. Wait! Look over there! That sound. Was that a supply drop? Yes, sent from Agnes. How can you tell? We got word that an advanced troop from Agnes had been seen in the area. And if they're in the middle of enemy territory, it has to be due to some kind of operation. The supply drop must be timed for the arrival of a main force. Funnily enough, it's that supply drop we're after. Did you know about the Agnian troops, Tyon? I've known about the presence of Agnian forces in this region for a while. I could never verify that supplies were being dropped, but I won't say I didn't suspect. Oh yeah? Well, looks like I can verify it now. From the way that you're talking, it sounds as though you're after supplies too. Well, medical supplies specifically. We thought Colony 4 might need them. I see. Then it looks as though we happen to have the same goal. Really? Boliaris was looking for you. You didn't actually come alone, did you? I actually did. Your understanding of the situation is correct. And I can't risk any more casualties. So you thought you'd go and take care of this yourself, huh? In that case, we... I said I couldn't afford any more casualties. And that includes you. I appreciate that you're willing. But Colony 4 is my responsibility. We want to work with you, Ethel. Be that as it may. We've already made our minds up. That's why we're here. You might end up having to cross swords with people from your own country. <sighs> Talking about avoiding casualties, you know that includes you too, Ethel, don't you? Huh. Hmm? I yield. I can't very well refuse you now. Don't worry, Ethel. We're not who we used to be. Yeah, we won't drag you down. Then if we're agreed, let's hurry and pick up those supplies. Apologies, and thank you all. If only you didn't charge off on your own. Hey! Something's not right. What? what do we do? <gasps> no time to daydream. We have to hurry! Ah! Ethel! You're right, Noah. We have no time to waste. Let's rout those nuisances. Phew. Glad that's over. Yeah, just one thing left. Ethel. What? Take your wounded and get out. Huh. 
Leave now. Did I do the right thing just now? As a Kavesi commander? There was never a reason for any of us to fight in the first place. You did the right thing, in my opinion. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Some situations aren't salvageable. That's the nature of war. It's beyond anyone's control. Ethel? I'm sorry. <laughs> what a tedious thing to talk about. We'll recover the supplies and head back to Colony 4. I'm afraid I'll need you all a while longer. Hmm. I really hope we find some magical supplies. Be at rest. Open. I'll take care of it, Mio. Hurry back to Colony 4. Commander? Commander! Commander Ethel! I look for you everywhere. Where in blazes were you? I went to fetch medical supplies. Distribute them to the med team. Yes, ma'am, I'll... Uh, wait. No. Oh, no, no, you don't. I'm sorry for making you worry. Just... Please. I did this for everyone. I understand your feelings, but... Ugh. Well... I suppose at least you're unharmed. That's twice you've helped me out. I owe you another one. Nah, don't worry about it. We were acting of our own free will. <laughs> then to reward your efforts, I'll work on getting our injured up and about again. Come, Boliaris. Uh, coming. Ethel. Hmm? What's wrong? I was thinking about what you said. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Hmm. If someone like you says it, then I don't doubt it's probably true. But back then, you helped us. You saved us. You risked your life. Thanks to you, we're alive right now. I can say with certainty that's a good outcome. That's the only thing... Noah, you... And we never properly thanked you. Ha, huh, so we didn't. Oh, yeah. Silvercoat Ethel, we want to formally thank you for your courage. I can hardly recognize the three of you. I'll continue to do my best to live up to my nickname. May our 
alliance lost. Another bit thinner, I think. <sighs> Best bath ever. Hmm? You taking a dip, Mimi? It's nice and warm. Uh, I might skip today. Was a really a sweaty one. What? How can you miss a hot bath opportunity? Then again, I guess when you smell so nice already, maybe it's no problem. Are you, uh, embarrassed about other people seeing you? There's no need to be. Miss Ethel thought of everything. She even managed to give us a window when the bath would be empty. Ah, yes. I did know that. I guess maybe I will take a dip. Had a girl. <sighs> okay. So wait for me. All right then. Have a good one. And good night. Yeah. Good night, Sana. I have to ask, before you go, why is it that you stick together? Given what's what, we pretty much have to. Considering how everybody attacks us on sight now. At this point, I suppose, it just panned out this way. You really think so? That's not really how it looks to me. Well, one thing's for sure. We were sworn enemies once, and yet, we all share the will to live in the now. Before becoming Ouroboros, I never realized. But that common will, it was reason enough to stick together. I see. Not everyone makes the choice to fight willingly. Lance said that you have to. Well, right now every one of us has to. There's no question it would be better if they didn't. Your journey may have started out of necessity, but now you're pushing forwards towards a common goal. And that, that might be all we want, and all that we wish the world could be. What we wish it could be. You're heading out as well. As soon as we're done here, I'll make for the castle. What? You forget, I am the commander. We haven't revolted against our nation, so I have to report in. Ethel, are you sure? Oh, don't worry. I'll be leaving you out of it. That's not it. The consul earlier turned Mobius. Were it to... If you mean that monster, I'm well aware of the risk. Then why? because it's my responsibility to those I command. As for the Consul, we can say he died in an accident. And you can't do it remotely? Now that the Consul and Flame Clock are both lost to us, I have to make a report, and not over comms. I have to requisition more supplies, too. And what if... what if they fit you with a new clock? <laughs> I can worry about that then. You're fine with it? Really? 
Don't get preoccupied with us. Keep to your path. Follow it, wherever it may lead you. Life is short. I suppose. Hey, while we're all still here, one more word of warning. Hmm? The Consul was attempting to remove you from the picture. In light of that, you'll likely come up against hostility. But listen, you should keep engagement to a minimum. Kevis or Agnes, that goes for both of them. But if we break their clocks, just like with Colony 4 here, they would... well, they would be free, wouldn't they? You'd do well to remember not everyone thinks the same as I do. Even within this colony, many still haven't come to accept their new reality. Ah. Uh. To make things even more fraught, in other colonies, there are those who are more than willing to fight, as you'd expect. So it's no use appealing to their sense of compassion, or hoping they'll treat us fairly, is that it? <sighs> yes, precisely. You will change the fate of others just by virtue of coming into contact with them. It's quite the burden. You may not want the responsibility. A burden, perhaps. All that said, you get embers on your coat, you have to brush them off. If push comes to shove, do not flinch. Do whatever it takes, for the greater good. I wish you all a smooth and fruitful journey. Ouroboros, huh? If only we could have been there as well. <laughs>